this amended provision with retrospective effect highly useful to the industry in a practical manner generally my dear sir when you refer interest for delay payment of gst why the department charging interest when will charge interest will charge only when there is a financial loss to department if there is no financial loss to department only a procedural lapse for a procedural lapse hey mr department you have no right to charge the interest what do you mean by procedural lapse you are talking here for example general penalty section 125 talks about general penalty what is general penalty for example sir i am a registered person gst la in my office premises i have not displayed certificate of registration prominent manner in a prominent location of your business premises it should be visible my certificate of registration is this by making the frame it and attach on the wall that i have not did i kept that in my drawer and locked it is a procedural lapse for which you want to charge the interest to me no it is not applicable interest will applicable only when when there is a financial loss meaning what instead of paying rupees 1 lakh gst i paid 10000 gst not paid how much 90000 financial loss if the department might have been received the 1 lakh in time they may be kept in the bank and they might have been got the interest now they lost they, they lost the interest opportunity loss for them instead of paying rupees 1 lakh i paid rupees 10000 therefore the shortfall of 90000 on which the department time value of money asking to pay now badly the rupees 90000 with interest ah liability to pay interest. generally this interest rate is a financial loss opportunity loss namely the loss is equal to the interest what you end in the bank correct if you have been being a department if you got in time 1 lakh rupee instead of rupees 10000 you might have been got the interest on 1 lakh now i paid only rupees 10000 thereby you got interest only on 10000 not on 1 lakh interest on 1 lakh 1000 na interest on 10000 rupees 100 so how much loss you got 900 that 900 is the opportunity loss that much only you have to collect from me the department not doing so bank interest is 7% 6% or maybe 6% that is want to collect i won't collect i will collect as i desired manner because i have the paper and pen in my hand and whatever i written as a law government of india is in my hand going to be approved therefore no need of looking the natural justice as per the principle of natural justice department should collect the interest only when if they deposit in the bank what interest they are going to earn that much of interest only have to collect from the particular tax payer who paying the tax belatedly but it is not so in fact they are collecting what 18% interest per annum calculation per day basis fancy rate sir if the non payment of tax lesser payment of the tax because of using input tax credit wrongly for example i have been utilize the credit wrongly instead of paying 1 lakh rupee tax liability i adjusted 90000 rupees input tax credit and paid only 10000 rupees meaning thereby i have utilized the credit of 90000 which is wrongly utilized rate of interest no department charging from me to repay that along with the interest which is 24% per annum from where you got this 24% the maximum rate of interest the minimum and maximum you are charging the maximum here minimum 6% maximum 24% you are charging maximum amount unfair meaning what you are punishing you are penalizing just because of i have misused or just because of i have been wrongly availed the input tax credit because i am not aware of that it is a blocked credit but i have been did so on good faith in spite of that the moment i noticed that i am coming forward as a indian to pay the taxes in time to you even though it may be belated amount but i am not disputing with you i am under the accepted concurred with you i surrendered and i am making the payment of taxes and you are asking me to pay interest 24% per annum are you doing the commercial business or what i am asking 
as a taxpayer i will pay the tax honestly because of non payment of the tax 18% interest for bill payment of tax if i misuse or if i have been wrongly availed the utilize the input tax credit input tax credit if it comes into picture there is a shortfall of payment of gst because of claiming excess credit of igst or cgst as as the case may be sgst whatever may be the credit what i have claimed something excess than the actual that i have to pay back to you with the rate of 24% interest per annum calculating on a day basis from the due the first day of the expiry of due date till the rate of payment is really unfair it is strongly appealed to the government humble manner it should be reduced or it should be affordable nature par with the banker interest more or less 1% or 2% acceptable but not the 18% 24% fancy rate of when the industry is really struggling with this government of india came out with a big relaxation amendment in section 50 of the cgst stated that mr 18% interest for delay payment of gst will charge because we cannot reduce that thereby the taxpayer will get some afraidness not to pay bill allegedly for that only we kept at the same time we will charge the interest only when when you are liable to pay by electronic cash ledger that is not paid by you that alone will charge the interest meaning what sir sir i am a genuine taxpayer i am all aspects good by but for one particular invoice what my output supply for which return not filed by me because of which not paid the tax also i myself noticed that what I have not paid in the previous month or before that month by paying the gst and the self assessment tax now i am going to pay department not noticed it. department do not know about this transaction what i have not paid i myself coming forward and filing the return and making the payment delay happened in that case while i am going to pay my liability i came to know 1 lakh rupee my credit is there 2.5 lakhs that means that 1 lakh i am going to pay by adjustment of input tax credit 2.5 lakhs still i have excess credit of 1.5 lakhs to carry forward in the electronic credit ledger my electronic cash ledger is nil i submit the return bill allegedly am i required to pay interest because of bill allegedly payment of gst law of the land says no not required to pay this is an amendment came now in the finance act 2022 with retrospective effect from 1st july 2017 onwards here i got a doubt the department took here in the year 2021 in the year 1819 i paid sir belatedly with the interest sir i would not required to pay sir that time i paid interest no for belated amount can i get the refund of that department says no 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 you do not ask the refund whatever you paid paid only whatever you paid paid only do not expect any refund we won't give any refund it become a uh, financial loss to us we are giving a amendment a provision pro to the taxpayer does not means we are loser of money whatever paid paid only this amendment is applicable from retrospective effect but whatever tax already paid with the interest we are not going to refund that interest so what is the law of the land today if i am going to be pay belatedly my output tax liability through electronic cash ledger that portion only will attract the interest at the rate of 18 percent per annum in the case of self assessment tax if it is not a self assessment tax department send the notice section 73 as on the front hey mr you have not paid the tax now you pay why should not ask you to pay the tax what you not paid two months before three months before one year before two years before like that show cause do you should again is that show cause notice i am coming forward to pay the tax your gross liability will attract the interest and moreover you are not allowed to avail the input tax credit when you are going to make the payment through case where reassessment taking place namely self assessment not taking place you are not going to pay the tax under section 
you are paying the tax in the reassessment department notice that department on account of verification on account of audit on account of investigation department notice you not paid then they note the showcase will issue to you under section 73 in the case where other than the fraud our department noticed by way of a investigating of your records of the previous period and they found so much of tax not paid by you on account of suppression of fact and department now sending to you section 74 notice namely the notice has been issued on account of non-payment of tax acting fraudulently in that case you are going to pay the tax you are not allowed to adjust input as script uh, your grass liability what is the grass liability 2 lakh rupees have to pay sir input as kit 2.5 lakh sir sorry input as kit not allowed to adjust here on 2 lakh rupees you have to pay interest gross liability comes into picture to pay the interest if it is a matter of a input as kit dispute 24 percent interest other than input as kit uh, utilization 18 percent interest per annum 